What's going on, Dragon Nation? It's Trey Two Black Dragon, and we are here for Batman, the Telltale series. Yo, I got rid of these Telltale games when I got rid of the Married to the Gaming channel, so I'm bringing them back because y'all be like, oh, play the Telltale, bring the Batman back, play it again. I was like, it's no sense in me playing it again because I already did it, and I'm probably going to make the same decisions I did then, but I'm going to give y'all the game, just with this intro on it, just to let y'all know that it's a throwback because I already played it. And you're going to be able to tell I played it because the hair, baby. Damn, I just hit myself in the eye with the shit. But that don't matter. Y'all going to be able to tell. Look at my hair now and then. Look at my hair then. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, this is old. So, I mean, I might as well just be honest. You know what I'm saying? Say it's old. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to bullshit with y'all because y'all know me. But this week, I'm going to bring y'all episodes one through five. And then next week, I'm going to bring y'all the Telltale, Batman the Telltale series episodes 1 through 5 or 6 through 10. It's the enemy within, the second part to it. So y'all going to get all of them the next two weeks, Monday through Friday. You're going to get every one of them, all 10 videos. So for the next two weeks, that's what y'all get. Don't worry. You're going to get uh, the end of GTA. You're going to still be getting uh, the finals. So you might be, some days you might be getting two videos with the Batman. So don't even trip. You, that's content for y'all. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Hope y'all keep coming back. I hope y'all run the views up. Like, cause these videos gonna be a little longer. This is gonna be a longer format. These gonna be like, some of these gonna be like over an hour. So rock with it. I think a lot of them are probably gonna be over two. But it's telltale. So it's worth it. And it's fun. Thank y'all for the support, man. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna let y'all get to the video. Get to the video. Don't, don't, don't look at my girl over here. You know what I'm saying? This is. Don't do not do that. Just get your eyes off of Y'all uh, stay hot, man. What's going on, Dragon Nation? It's Black Dragon, Trey Real, Married to Gaming, where it's the devil who is part from gaming. Hey. Batman, the Telltale series. Yes, I know. If you've been here for a while, I did play the first episode years ago. But, you know, that channel got deleted and I never completed the other nine episodes. So we go go through this Batman Telltale series together. I've never seen it, so I want to see the end. Let's see what it has to offer. I hope it's good. Look at the controls real quick. Cool. This shit is loud. Is this shit loud? Is the shit too loud? I need to know. Is it too loud? Or is the sound equal? Well, it might just be this music. If, you know what I'm saying? It just might be right now. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we just gonna go get into it. But I don't know why I'm looking over here. See, that's what I hate. I'm, I gotta be here now. I have to be here. But my, my Twitch chat is over here. So whatever. Let's go, man. Let's just get into the story, man. Let me make sure I'm on my right buttons and shit. Fuck around and lose all my shit in this bitch. Let go! Batman, the Telltale series. Adjust the sliders so the bat symbol is barely visible. that shit fully visible. Now, 
damn, I didn't. I was just. I guess I was just trying to see. So they gonna go with blue. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Let's go. City Hall, 8.32 p.m., Gotham City. Hey, what are you- God damn, I forgot about that shit! <laughs> I damn, I forgot about- Holy shit, bro! out of here before anyone can stop us. Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. You know what, bro? You call old Batman a flying animal, you got a fucking problem, bitch. Let's go to work. Back to back, circle up! Oh, 
back to back. Hit him with that Drake. Back to back. Oh, my boy turned into costume on the ass. Come here, bitch. You're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Teach you to knock. Yeah, kitty, kitty. Behind you, big boy. the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. No, Squeeze out. into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's okay. dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Shit, I was slow on that ship and eat. Get 
Maybe it's check over. Me. I wouldn't be so sure. Get your ass down, Gil. Stop playing with my boy. This will make y'all such a cute couple. Who am now? Jesus! I got him! Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! trouble for this shit a myth can't be killed you however are flesh and blood let him know Al. Al motherfucker I forgot about this God shit damn it I said don't shoot me. ain't that no real fucking life <laughs> yeah I said it let's go Girl, bring your motherfucker. Catch the cat. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, fuck, I pressed the wrong way. about you catching me not sure if it was for my sake or yours don't struggle or you'll fall oh, but that's what you crave the struggle oh I'm very glad you're talking nasty to me don't talk nasty to me I'm gonna move baby I bet oh <laughs> why you're Bitch ass cop shot me. And she's scratching me and shit. Step out of the but shadows. Like and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Ain't it, man? Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Damn. Well, Time to save the city. Thank you. Thank you. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. But for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. So right. I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Save our great city. That's full of fucked up shit, you know what I'm saying? Only it's Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. That's what I'm talking about. I always like Harvey as a character. Thank you for opening your house to us. I feel like he got fucked, us. but you know. Now, I know it's this is books. the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. 
So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. I no can't lie, Bruce be clean me. no matter what universe though. I wanna see the that Bruce Bruce Wayne, be clean. am I right? <laughs> then I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Face Your face, that. specifically, with a mouth that's saying, support Harvey Dent. Where the grease, they're the wheels. And they're the in enough cash and votes to help make oh, Gotham shit. a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. A decent slogan. Terrible I remember those. this boy. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. God Bruce, damn right. I what I said. Because I'm Batman! Me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Well, y'all wait. Are y'all ready for the new Batman movie with Robert Pattinson? Like, what's up? Like, I heard they doing a the whole universe for that. Mr. Wayne, I'd like, like to introduce you, know, you to Bob and Regina universe with that. So, what's Clint up? What y'all feel about that? Hello, Bruce. Virginia Put it in the comments if you're on YouTube. Twitch chat, let me know what's husband. up. Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street. But I trust your family. You believe and why in do Dent? Main Street you really have dicks in the street? Like, After I don't all, understand. Whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, That Bob. fucking voice! I know that voice! I'm a crusader. My expectations hmm? are low? Really, No strings please? attached. I'm gonna give Old him the families benefit of like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, since you you're getting cranky out? in yours. There's always well, the writing, you not Forgive me for being writing. blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Well, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Now, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's he help, refused to work we're out. replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like that because state of the art Bruce mental is, health facility to he help Gotham's most at risk individuals. He can bench press 700 be pounds. To Thomas and Martha Wayne. Can squat like anywhere from like fate. 15 to 2,000 pounds. Like he's a he's after a all strong. your parents did for this city. Oh. Like to be and killed. And a lot of he lost a lot of support when he said he's not gonna work out. It was terrible. Truly terrible. And even if he got, he ain't gotta be like Chris that, Hemsworth big, but he age. could be at least. Must have been crippling. Chris Evans Ooh, big, you know what I'm saying? Deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe. Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements.
Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private this fundraiser, Vicky Miss from Vale. The, uh, no Woman reporters show. allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time on. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. You know what? You know what trip me Bruce, out about? Been going around Bruce, pleasing everyone. Women tonight. want him. They they want him. Like they doing? own him whole. You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you are here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah... it looks like... No, oh, this? No, it's nothing. It just, uh... cut myself hey. shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. <laughs> Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. Hope y'all having a good time sure over here, Twitch. Not you may TV want to greet this game. one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Oh, yeah. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil like politics. I'm going to go around the bar back it's here. in the service of a better you know God for all of us. Oh, At least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe he can change your mind. Jesus, Harvey. Inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. Hmm. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. I'm getting to see that two-faced yeah, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. You can't afford it, bro. Well, you couldn't afford it. <laughs> yeah, right. It's fucking How Wayne matter, bro. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man. Gentlemen, perhaps Bruce would shake his hand. I don't care what nobody say. Like, Bruce would not shake his hand, bro. Fuck you, mean? Cause he's Batman. You gonna be getting that every episode? You should know, Mr. Talk. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... <laughs> what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say it he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. 
He's trying to make Gotham a better place. Goddamn right. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. Bro, it's always that asshole. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happens to being a gracious host. I don't I don't like Okay, imagine oh, bro. this is me. And these are all my friends. I'm just chilling, y'all. I'm just the I'm business. Not, I, I don't rest, like this clubs, moment. docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. I make them I all keep move. everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked. Trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand the situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. It's the break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Damn. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. Like he said, nice bitch, you can't like afford. You should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city's still standing. It's me. It's me. She was really after me. Oh, that's right. Oh, I get to. Let's... 
just looking around real quick. That's the stuff. More on this after the break. I was looking for it. I couldn't find the shit. Not the chair. I was bad. That shit is cold. That's why that was so important. Wayne Manor there. has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. <laughs> in a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, king. Quite an eclectic I mean, resume. I mean, it's not. Did you find out what that um, not cat true. woman tried to steal? Uh, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. <laughs> I'm an asshole, bro. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... Data. I saved you what I could. Think so. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. Well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Exactly. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Mm. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. The DC I'll check the universe codex. is so fucking wonderful, bro. That shit is amazing. Founder. Petty larceny. from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm not there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. <laughs> I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. 
You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking up. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to that. <laughs> <sighs> put out with him a suit. Now that will be the comics right there. One more worry for the list. Have Alfred like Jay Garrett of the Flash family? That shit would be dope as fuck. Like give him like a special armor, armored suit. I thought I saw Oz. It's been what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two are thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Fortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Played, I've played this episode before. I've never played the other part. I'm so. the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. Man, you know you could blow up a toilet like graduated. that? Like literally, like you could blow up a whole and toilet and up and firecracker and that shit. Close. I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of this park, I think you will. I ain't know. I mean, I thought I messed something up, man. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm, I'm gonna say it. What the hell is Bruce Wayne doing walking around with coins? I'm just putting it out there. Why he got coins, bro? <laughs> Like, Bruce fucking Wayne, like. <laughs> he should not have coins, I'm just. I know somebody's probably like, no, he have coins, like. <sighs> Great. There's the statue, but no eyes. Isn't what it used to be. Sometimes things are really Hey. 
beat it. What the fuck? I'm like, okay. Watch wallet cash. This goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. Next one <laughs> kills you. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep Oz. walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're in the moment! Come here! Think that'll do? Stay down! Got a little, uh. Yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shaped. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little moose I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. Damn. This park. 20 years is a long something. time if you have a place to somebody, safe you know what for I mean? kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Glad I never saw it like this. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, we did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. Uh, it's funny, huh? Hmm. Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. And what's left in this flask. My yeah. parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce. I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. There's an you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Damn. Made himself right at home. That oily. <sighs> Wish I could have punched that grin in the back of his throat. No, 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 no. I only agreed to meet him because of Harvey. Beware of any man who smiles that much, Bruce. They usually hide the forked tongue. <laughs> Bacconi made a stack of cash and corpses a mile Did, did Bruce just jump, jump like this? We wanted if he didn't see it like we wanted it. push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? 
A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. Mm -hmm. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen. Don't it? Damn. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Damn. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Not that I got some rocks to collect, bitch. Over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. We're here about Arkham Asylum. Mm. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. Shit. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne Gotham has a few Asylum. words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. Mm. They invested their blood sweat and tears in this city. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice. No matter Injustice, gods among us. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Mm, are you sure about that? With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility hey. to Thomas and Martha Wayne and night. usher in a new era today. of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? We should tear down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. 
I want us to focus on Gotham's future. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Exactly. Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. I mean, Can like, I comment? You bitch! And did anyone else receive this? Evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you God know damn, y'all some hoes? I mean, like, run them, run them hands, bitches. Run them hands. allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep it's this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Uh, inside the manor? Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. Hmm. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the top. Exactly. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. The mayor, mayor dumbass. Hill. Signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Mm. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As hey. mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Damn, Jim. Motherfucker! Ain't that the cop that shot him the other night? They just put the, the Lord, Lord his head over his head. That's that motherfucker that shot him. Son of a bitch. I'm, I'm, I'm so angry. Gotta get that angry and shit. It's Batman, though. You know? Where is she? Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. Oh, this is fucked up.
Bruce? You here for the private tour? Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, you're really going for the record, huh? Hmm. Listen. I hope y'all enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. Of course it does. I can help you a get the scandal right kind of attention. Surrounding a public family. I don't know. Gazette, that seems real all to me. Kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. You know what I'm saying? All Some this old seems to be entangled some way. The, the Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations oh, like this, it, it, it'll magically be. appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. Right, of course they did. No idea who it could be. I mean, I mean no one's even done number, their due baby, diligence on this. this. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Mm. Not every day you get to go after a lane. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Given, given a quote, don't matter. Ready. Whenever you're ready. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Hmm. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. That yep. has made plenty of enemies. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Yep. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. <laughs> Alfred be with the smoke. Then find out why he did like, we gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> Alfred don't be with this shit. Then find out why he did. I dang. The warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA. Oh, I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Mm. Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? Exactly. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Well, I mean, Easy, Bruce. He went to the Bruce. Batman boys. I intend to find out. Oh, God, what a mess. I Bruce, I wish I could just make I this go away, knight. but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, 
No, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. Tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. Yeah, baby. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Selena Kyle. Yeah, baby. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, sorry. Selena's new to town. I bet she I've is. been showing her around yeah. Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double decker tour buses around town. I'd take that ride. Meet anyone interesting? Not really. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. Hmm. Yeah. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. It's not your fault. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. It could have been worse. Man. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Yeah, uh, baby. Stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? Boy, the flirtation right now is real. Like I'll handle it. Like you see Someone the flirtation. Someone in my office has to know what's going on. Come on, man. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. to meet the real you. Likewise. Hmm. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. Of course you're not. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I can't wait to I see Miss Kravitz as but you. Selena. Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. Mm. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. Mm. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. Mm. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. Not gonna happen. Not possible. Listen, I, love I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? 
Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. Mm. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay? Now, here? had that been real life and that dude would have saw that. You uh, tell me. I have my nope, him putting it in his pocket. Like, did you just give my girl number cup? I feel better already. I'm just saying, he would have been it would have been some smoke in this bitch. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. And don't forget to change into your suit. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Trickster, thanks for the follow. <clears throat> oh, shit! This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Nothing left to bury. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effects it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Whoever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. God damn! The chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Okay. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. Okay, got it, it got it. It appears military. Have you put it together? Yes. Let's work the tank. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. Thanks. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men got them down. 
then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. That's crazy. And was put down. Same I sniper, about same type of bullet. That's crazy. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. is the right spot. So where did he go? Better watch your back. Fucking eye. Sorry, y'all. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. to this graveyard. No, Coney, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Exactly. said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm, All so the inside. Mm. Tell yeah. me the plan. Or I start swinging. I ain't scared of you, man. <laughs> Tell me. That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Malconi wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Oh, shit. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals is some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Balcone said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear, I swear. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. I was just here for a pickup. I swear. You're a cat. 
You know, they break bones. You're gonna need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send the clean up unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. Now put up your hands. Don't move. Batman. What did you do to him? Don't move. I'm sorry, Gordon. I did what I had to. I wish you had waited for us. Could have avoided this. You have the right to remain silent. Gordon. I said silent. If you say another word, I will shoot you. You quit. I don't care. You can't I shoot somebody. somebody. Right now, you're a suspect. Shoot me. See what happens. I will. I swear to God, I will. You're making a mistake, detective. You want to hear what I have to say. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weapon. I had to say that to that shit. Causes that, that to get on my nerves. Turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. What now, fucking Alfred? You assume the persona of a bat. You're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. I broke his arm. I broke his Your arm. Parents he didn't did. raise you this way. My parents didn't raise me. Neither you did. did. I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time it might be the morgue. Especially now during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wade. Oh Giving God. everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. This is You're nice. a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Were they good? Don't lose that. Oh, I don't mean to be a eyes. doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. Yeah. That night, that alleyway, right. it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can host. allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores yep. or drown you in its sorrow. Yeah, you know. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. like that egg finally cracked and inside mayor hill was hiding more than i could have imagined hey this is a complete manifest of carmine falcone's criminal organization what in the world was hill doing with all this illegal arms dealing drug running mob hits money laundering falcone's been involved in everything but it goes back years you see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Oh. Free 
appreciate that game. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Hey. Where That's would we possibly city? begin to dismantle it? That's the fucking city. This is a policeman. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vail. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. That's, that, see, that's the thing. You give it to the police, they can cover it up. But you give it to the news people, they can spin the story their way. Like, that's the thing. I don't know, man. Fuck it. Well, somebody said Vicky, so I'll go Vicky. Fuck it. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Oh. It's about to go down. This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Hmm. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this, I'd say you got one for life. Mm. Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. His big ass on some hooks dry. Them hooks will fall down. His big ass. What this could do for the city. My career, I'm just wondering what the cost is going to be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, it, God, it might be an obituary. Falcone has a way of handling reporters he doesn't like. I could be putting myself in real danger by trying to expose him. I'll protect you, I promise. Oh, chivalrous, but unnecessary. You're not Batman. I always think crime in the city, it's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head. Three more appear in its place. I know. Hell hydra! Yeah, unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. Lieutenant Gordon. He has his badge in the right place. Yeah, well, I hope that's enough. Sometimes the rest of the force, they, they have their own agenda. See what I'm saying? Didn't I just say that? It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. I bet you do want to see him. Not itself. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Mm. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Oh, that's right! They need to do that in the movie. Have to. I 
I was. Together a plan of attack. Stand by. Stand by. Hmm. A couple of options for taking this guy down. I just want to see what this one does. <laughs> he went to hit him with the 
tuck and roll, bitch. Oh, I don't want to see the tuck and roll, bitch. I'm going in. I'm about to grab him up, roll him up. Your turn to crash his party. Oh my god. Y'all know I like the fucking antics. What's up, homie? Thanks for the invite. What's up, Doc? Okay. Oh, ah! oh, you dead. That's death. Oh, oh. It's the Batman. It's the Batman. Did you? <laughs> it's the Batman. <laughs> no. Bitch. Alright. 
someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. What to do? Go what ahead. to do? Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Ah. Gotham. <laughs> what a place to come. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! smoke could reportedly be seen from street level tonight the skyline club a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown gotham was the arena for a clash between the notorious batman and alleged mob boss carmine falcone who was found dangling over a 50-story drop mm -hmm. bet falcone loved that view though i'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. <laughs> and speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his what the fuck? Wayne fired back, saying, this story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. What the fuck? I just got to make this shit. God damn. This suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! <laughs> I forgot about this. Oh my god, bro. Fuck. Shit. Realm of Shadows. Yeah. Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcon? Okay. He don't need to use a gun.
Most people gave it to Gordon. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Most people just couldn't brutalize him like that. Shit. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Next time on Batman, the Telltale Series. Oh, okay. Your parents were good people, Bruce, no matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could possibly know. Oh, shit. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully, this one knocks something useful out of him. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. <laughs>